this match is going to go because, like I said earlier, Cheese can play things very passively. He can set grenades, he can set the, the bomb. The Nikita missile is much more useful in this game compared to previous iterations of Snake. Um, but Snake is a heavyweight, and the heavyweights lend themselves to being combo food very easily. Uh, Falcon is also a heavyweight. Granted, Cheese is not necessarily known for the combos. You know, he is more about that patient style, setting up a zone, <laughs> setting up a wall. But, uh, ooh, as soon as that wall gets broken for even an instant, what, where are you going with that knee, Nick? <laughs> oh, I miss this man. <laughs> where is he going? Oh, is no. That more? <laughs> That's more powerful now. Most people don't know Falcon's up. He's uh, <laughs> uh, a bit more potent, so you got to watch out for it. I mean, you should be teching that regardless. Although the tech window, I think, is a little bit different for Ultimate. You have to get used to it. Techs now. as a whole have actually changed a lot. Another note that uh, most people aren't actually happy with is that if you get sent to the high enough velocity, the tech window is like near one frame. To people are thinking you can't tech. Uh, there seems to be like a red spark as an indicator for that, but it's still early on. People still need to research it. And I don't know if either of these characters can send at that type of velocity, so I don't know if we'll be seeing it. What we'll be seeing is plenty of grenades. I hope you like handball. <laughs> um, because I feel like Nick doesn't even, he doesn't, he, he hasn't committed to a game plan yet, you know? Like he goes in and does things and he's just like, ooh, grenades. It's like almost an ADD style of play. <laughs> Unfortunately, grenades are a, uh, they're a piece of the stage that you have to keep in a mind of when fighting uh, Snake. Two can be out at once very easily. If they're cooked, you have to keep a mind for how they're timed to be out. <laughs> he went down so low. You know that he wanted to read the air dodge and up him for it, but spacing was just slightly off. Okay. Nick was a brawl player, correct? No, he wasn't? No, nah, I believe during that time period he played Marvel vs. Capcom. Ah. Um, but like I said earlier, he likes to press the green button. He likes those nares. He knows when to press them. He's doing a really good job of it, too. I will say, Cheese seems to be adapting to that a little bit more. Less off so on those, you know, the grenades, that game plan, and instead he's throwing out these walling hitboxes, like up tilt, like these tabs, the down tilts. And, but it's like, if it starts working for a little bit, you can't guarantee that's going to keep working. Nick, you know, we talk about how, oh, he's this loose cannon who doesn't play by the rules, but he knows how to play the game. His adaptation is stellar, and if something's working, you can't really expect it to work for too long. Uh, okay. I love that. It's much easier to drop Nikita Missile and, like, effectively use it now because it has a smoother glide to it. So Nikita Missile on top of grenades is an excellent way to control the stage. And Cheese is just ready for the roll. He's anticipating it with that up tilt, but it's not going to be catching anything. Yeah, rolls in general were nerfed in this game. Uh, for those you don't know, if you use roll multiple times, you get less and less invincibility, and I believe there's also more and more lag, which means that it's not quite as popular the escape option as it used to be. Yeah, see that? If this was insert any game that is at 64, you could have. No. Ah, yes. Ah, ah. Yes, I'm ready for five more years of this. <laughs> oh, Please. No. Uh, why can't we have more Falcon DLC? More what? Falcon DLC. For what, what game? <laughs> this game. Bring in 64 Falcon. I want to have... This is, this is the closest forward... you'll get to 64 Falcon in HD. No, no, no. I mean 64 Falcon in 64 Falcon graphics, where you forward throw them up air, up air, up B, and it's just a Are you telling me you can't do cast. that? Have you not seen it yet? Are you? Is this a bluff? I want it to be easier do you want for it, me. Do you want it to be easier for you? <laughs> oh. How's I this? Actually, you got battle. You got triplats. So we have triplats. I also love the stage. You know, of course, Breath of the Wild, beautiful game. And look at the background. Oh, so gorgeous. Um, I personally also think that this stage, uh, the normal form, should be legal. Uh, please ask That's me. enough like of that. <laughs> so we're gonna go on to the mats, and it's a meta knight and a falcon. And so there is actually a lot to talk about this counter pick. And, oh my god. Is, there, is no. there really? There's nothing to talk about. This All words are meaningless in the face of this. Bro, A button versus B button, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one thing about uh, the map. Oh. That's tragic. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> so. For those who aren't aware, Meta Knight has actually been changed a good deal from how he was in Smash 4. However, he finds himself in this weird, like, middle ground of a lot of the strengths that he held in Brawl to a lot of the similar playstyle semantics of Smash 4. And 
in that notion, he could still lead kills very well. However, not really upwards as much anymore. It's a bit more to the side, thanks to how Mock Tornado has been changed. It kills to the side now, instead of not killing at all. <laughs> but you know it kills. There you go. You got it. You wanted no, it. Geez. Downer to me. No, jeez. Look how, look how he moves. I, I mean, Nick was a man who... Oh, would, oh no. Oh, that oh. air dodge. It's so, off Lynch with certain characters. Just spelled on my eyes right then and there. Ledge guarding, by the way, is going to become a lot better in this game as time goes on. Uh, recoveries are weaker with the change in air dodge mechanics. Uh, and Falcon is probably going to be a character that suffers from that. And Men Knight is going to be a character that will get better and better over time. Multiple jumps, Knight hitboxes. Uh, he has that down air, which is, you know, you were talking about brawl. It may not be brawl down air, but uh, it's, it's, certainly, really it's certainly a lot more potent than Smash 4 down air was as an edge guarding tool. Um, so, you know, it's being interesting to see how the meta develops. But right now, their meta is still nascent. Like, we just see these guys play the way they think it should be done. And right now, Nick's game plan seems to just be working out a little bit better. His game plan being there. There. I mean, hey, it's led into a lot of uh, combos and stage control for Nick. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. On top of that, the uh, bit of a wayward SD early on in this match definitely helping things. And wow! Are you kidding me? Ah, yeah. What was that? Here it comes. No! Oh, Get okay. used to that sound. Hold on. I want to talk about this, though. You want to talk about how Meta Knight got one removed from the character select screen? Yeah. Up till... Yeah. The, I mean, he... You think I wasn't right? listening to this man when he started swearing by neutral air? 